Hey everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fun-filled, crafty, papery sort of day. Um, uh, today, I am just looking for some good old simple paper pleasures. And I was just, have you ever scribbled? Can you scribble? Do you think you can scribble? Let's scribble today. Let's scribble and see what we can make from scribbles. Yeah, May I played around with some concepts and uh, one is just scribble flowers. They're very easy to do. Yes, yes, even you can make these. Yes, you in the back there. Yes, I know. I see you cowering in the corner. Yes, you too have it in you. Uh, to draw roses, flowers, carnations in an impressionistic fashion, if you will. Uh, but this is so super easy and uh, anybody can do it. Let me show you some different ones, different styles and uh, very, you know, uh, easy to do. These make adorable journal cards. Um, you can even turn these into pockets or tucks or um, belly bands, whatever you like in your junk journals. So much fun. Oh, um, let's see. I think I have a junk journal close. We can show a demonstration. All right, here we go. Okay, there's a pretty page. So sometimes if you have some page and you could put that on there, you could make it a belly band. You could make a, uh, a corner upper tuck. You could turn it into a pocket, do a lot of fun things with it. Uh, and they'll look great on all sorts of different kinds of paper as well. Um, what I'm using for the base, for these, I, you can use anything for the base, any paper will work. Um, but I have a, a lot of these, um, I want to call them, well, I do want to call them fly papers, but I think they're not called fly papers, I apparently have been told. <laughs> fly papers have flies stuck on them. Okay, this is not fly papers. These are the first few beginning or ending pages of books. A lot of old books have these that are beautifully caramelized and things like that. Just lovely, different. They come in all sorts of different colors and stuff. And um, the papers are often this wonderful feel, but I love to cut these up and turn them into journal cards and things like that. So, yeah, there you go. So there's a little cluster of them. Um, so I went ahead and I just, I cut some up, I cut some up and I thought maybe we would do a little drawing on these. Whoa, that's really close. Back up there, Sally. Okay. Um, so did I show you all these examples? Okay. Here's another one. Just three little ro roses slash carnations. Um, and just a did a little bit of inking around the edges and, and drawing just for fun. And then here's, a, I just was trying different goofy things. So this one, I just multi scribbled. I know, I know, right? I mean, hey, you never know. So um, I'd like to play with that concept a little more with you, but let's just make some of these so I can show you the, the process. It's very easy. Um, what I'm gonna use, you can use anything, a pen, a pencil, a color pencil, gel pens. Um, I've got some of these Faber-Castell pit artist pens in different colors, and most of these are small nibs, but uh, you can certainly go bigger nib. Small nib is teeny tiny nib. But maybe for um, uh, this, would the okay, these two are small nib. That's what small nib will give you, okay, compared to medium size nib, okay. And I think the medium size might be easier to see on camera, so just kind of FYI and let you know that part of it all. Okay, here we go. Um, all right, so we're going to zoom in and we're going to scribble some flowers. Let me just back it up a little bit. Yep. Okay. All right, so basically put pen in hand, and this is a fine tip uh, Sharpie pen. I guess I traded, I traded markers here already, um, or pens. I, I still feel like these are markers for some reason. Okay, what we do, we scribble. So the whole technique with the scribble is you're just going to do little random things, um, but change directions a lot. That's what I would recommend. So let's just start. Is this a good angle? Let me just see. That's yeah, a better angle. Okay. Um... See, now that you're watching, I'm all nervous. And you can just, just keep going different different directions, different angles. It doesn't matter. Everything's okay. It just, it just somehow is because it's very impressionistic. Boy, they got away a lot with that stuff. Okay, so there. We have that. Now let's just do another one. It looks a little chrysanthemum, carnation, could be a really like multi-petaled rose, something like that. And maybe let's just do another one here. I just want to show you the technique. Changing the direction. And you can do some that are wider than others. Some will be flatter, and that'll give you a different look. I feel like my pen is running out here, okay. Uh, 
There. Okay. Now, I, I don't know. You just go until you feel like it's complete. And uh, there. We'll do just one more little make small one down here. How about a little small one? Okay. Just a little baby one doing like little backwards S's. And try to hit new space. That's the goal. You can go over stuff a little bit, but try to hit a lot of new space. There we go. Okay. So now, for some reason, they just turn out to be flowers really fast. Very easy. Anybody can do this. All you got to do is scribble. I think we've all scribbled, right? And I think, don't be too hard on yourself with your scribblage. Um, just have fun with it. And, uh, you know, just enjoy the process. Get lost in it. Simple play for, play for pleasures today. Simple play for pleasures. Let me back that up a bit so you can see. Okay, so very cute, right? I know, adorable. Um, okay, so let me do one with the, the thicker uh, bit on the end. Okay, so this one, yes, this one is officially a Faber-Castell M for medium, thicker nib. Okay, let's try another one. All right. Okay, here we go. And we're drawing a flower. Scribbling, scribbling, not quite knowing what I'm doing, just going for it. All loosey goose in the barn. Don't know what's happening here. Maybe some bigger things down here. I don't know why. Just do it. Okay. So you can look at it and you say, okay, is that my flower shape? Why not? It could be. And if you want to add to it, you can add to it. Like maybe I'm going to add over here, a little bit over here, and just round it up a little bit more. Okay. And it's kind of like a feel or a shape you're going for more than an actual uh, concern about where every little line goes. Okay, let's do one more of these. Just see how it comes out. You never know. I mean, they're all different. Okay, so just start. And you can't really, you, you gotta, gotta let your brain go. Just let it go. I guess it's kind of a little like neurographic art, but uh, I wasn't really coloring this in, just kind of letting the, the flower become from itself. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave two on here. I'm holding myself back. I'm just doing two. Okay. And maybe this one is going to have a thicker stem. I don't know why. It just could because maybe that's how this flower grows. Okay, that didn't make any sense. So, so we'll pretend that's that stem. And maybe this guy, he's going to come over here. He's thinner. It's harder. Okay, it's harder to keep them uh, still. But uh, there, there we go. So that's that. Now let's move it up. So far we've done this. We have created... We have, oops, come here. We have created this together. Thin nib, thicker nib. Okay. And now let's move on from there, leveling it up a notch. And let's maybe add some leaves to a flower. We'll do a skinny one this time. I'm going to use the thicker one again so you can see it. Okay. Um, oh, there's another shape of a flower I want to show you with scribbling too. Maybe actually we'll do it with this one. Ready? I'm going to show you a brand new flower. This is a different flower. Okay. This one, you start, I'll take you a little closer because I think you need to see this close. Okay. Um, you start, it's like that taffy, you know that taffy? It goes like this and then you kind of come back in on itself. Okay. And then we do another one over here. Wider, 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 thinner, 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 thinner. Thinner, wider, 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 thinner, 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 thinner. Let me, um, one here. Thinner, thinner, wider, 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 thinner, thinner, thinner. So you're not thinking about it too much. This is, this is, this is art, people. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is, but it's a lot of fun. Um, thinner, 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 wider, 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 thinner, thinner, thinner. Okay. Um, maybe we'll do a bigger one. Thinner, 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 wider, 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 thinner, 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 thinner. Okay, see, you can you can do totally different shapes. And then we just come on and we drop them to the ground. Like they're almost like balloons or something. I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter where the stemmies go. Now they can go in different directions. Don't think about it. Just do it. Okay. All right. There we go. Um, nine minutes already. Where'd that go? Uh, back up. Now we have these. I know, right? Cute, right? They're almost like lavender in a way. If you elongated them a little more, you could fake some lavender in there. Um, now you can also do leaves with this. So let's, let's just, you do a leaf. There's a stem. Okay, wait, way too far away. There's your stem. And then you just do a little leaf. There, there's a little leaf. Then, and I'm going to just start 
whitey, 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 thinny, thinny, thin. There. Isn't that cute, right? Whoop, can't see it. There. Very cute. Maybe one more up here. Sure. Uh, yeah. Whitey, 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 thinny, thin. There. I mean, how cute, right? I mean, like, no, no talent needed whatsoever. Anybody can do that. Okay, so we are talent-free, and we are flowing with it. We are making artists out of everybody today. Um, so there you go. I mean, that, that, that's like really pretty, isn't it? I don't know. I, I just think it's kind of pretty. You need a leaf. Okay, I don't know. Let's see what kind of a leaf we're going to give you. You have to have a, like a rose sort of leaf. Okay, I'm just going to go to one of these weird ones. Okay, there you go. There's your leaf. <laughs> I mean, really, it doesn't take much. Um, so there we go. These would look pretty on greeting cards as well. Now let's try some uh, color. And if you have any ideas on how to level this idea up, um, please feel free to add the ideas below because I think that would be fun to see what other people do. I'm going to try a, a horizontal or landscape one this time, kind of along the idea of this one. All right, this one had some metallic gel pen in it, but I'm not going to use it this time. I'm just going to use the skinnies. This is a small Faber-Castell cobalt green. Looks blue to me, but who am I to say non-artist self? Okay, here we go. Let's go closer so you can see. Whoa, that's really close. Okay, there we go. Oh, perfect. All right. Get my big hand out of the way. All right, I'm just going to do like little clusters of flowers, like little doobie 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 doobie. Maybe you give yourself like, um, timing like uh, maybe there's like lots of little flowers on here and you have to make sounds when you do them because uh, I don't know I think the flowers come out better see yeah I think there we go maybe in clusters of three and four maybe odd numbers for some reason I think odd numbers is something fancy in art so maybe I'll do like a, I'll do like a fiver here and just maybe different sized ones I'm going to do six. And then just make it odd, I'll make it seven. There we go. Okay. And then we have three over here. A one over here. I have no idea how this one's going to turn out. This is like, we're off in no man's land right now. Okay, that's uh, five. Let's go to five. Okay. All right, so what do we have? We have that. We have scribbles on a page. Um, and so let us go ahead. We'll put our stems down. I'm just going to give these like wispy stems. These are like easy breezy stems. There's like nothing too serious going on here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 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 There we go. Okay. Don't think about it too much. All right. Good. Be doom. There we go. Okay, so we have that, right? And that's pretty in and of itself. I mean, there could be things we could do with that. But let's try and um, play with some color on top of that. I'm going to take the same. I'm going to take the same style of pen. This is a Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in Magenta One One Three in small. And we are. I haven't used these in like forever, so I'm trying to use up my old stuff just to have some fun with it. Okay, so now I, I want to see what it looks like if we actually go over the design that is there. Okay, let me zoom it in a little bit. All right. I don't know if it's going to be too much or not enough or what. Okay, just a little. Just maybe in the center. Maybe just give it some like central. What a weird sound. I sound like Mork. <laughs> and there we go. All right, what do we got? Now we got that. Okay. Um, what does this all mean in the grand scheme of things? Just more things to play with, more fun things you can add to your junk journals, giving it a more personal touch, a more personal flair, maybe pushing your own artistic envelope saying, hey, hey, maybe I, I've never, I, I've never gone there because I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, Pam, and I, I, I welcome you into the, uh, come, come over to the side and just try it. What, what is the worst could happen? You ruin a piece of paper? So what? It's all right. It's only paper. Okay. So how we can uh, level this guy up? Maybe we'll give him a border. Now you could use a ruler here, but I'm just going to freehand it and hope for the best. These do give you nice crisp lines. Now I can't really go along the bottom because I already, I drew right to the bottom. See that? So I kind of, I cornered myself, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. It's so it is, it's all right. And um, let's see. 
maybe, where's the skinny one? Here it is. You know? Yeah, this is probably not looking like what it's supposed to be looking. It's supposed to be like a bumblebee or something spinning around. Yep, doesn't look like it at all, but uh, um, that's okay. Okay, and now maybe we'll put the, uh, maybe it's a, I don't know, it's just like a, a little guy with wings. Okay, there we go. Okay, so just having fun, just goofy things, adding to the art. What can we add to it? What can we add to it? Um, that type of thing. So let's see what else we can do with this concept. Okay. Okay, I'm going to test something here. I've got some gelatos. And I don't think I can draw on the gelatos, but I wonder if I can smudge the gelato on the flower. Metallic grape. Um, after it's done. So let's try that. This is grand experiment number 47. Here we go. Okay, first of all, free thinking, whirly swirly, not really thinking, but changing directions a lot. Just a little more focusing on the shape of the flower. That's it. Just a little shape. The shape of the flower. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Huh? Yeah. All right. That's a good little flower. Okay. Um, now, here comes the gelato. Okay, now I'm not going to go, eh, 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 which I think you could, but I feel like I want to use my finger to apply just little amounts. It's like eyeshadow, doesn't it? Eyeshadow. Okay, probably that will probably work. Okay, I have no idea if this is going to work or look good. Might. Might look ridiculous. I don't know. I would say just go for essence. Don't like, over, well, what the heck? Put, put, put more on to see what happens. <laughs> You know, do whatever you want. Just do whatever you want. Okay, that's actually very pretty. I like that. Oh, you probably have the, the sheen in it. But that's actually looking very nice. Um, I'm hopeful. Okay, let me try another flower down here. We'll just do it. Maybe this flower is going to be looking off to the side. Let me see if I can do that. We're looking off to the side. What would a flower look like if it was looking off to the side? I don't know. I just drawing the flower like you said. Okay. Well, that's a weird one, isn't it? Let me get some more flowery stuff here. Okay. Okay, well, that's just a weird one. You know, sometimes that's the way they come out. Don't be too hard on yourself. Okay. There we go. There, now I feel, I feel complete now. Um, and actually, let's just go ahead and draw his little, his little base. I never seem to line them up, you know? That's always tricky. But, uh, okay, so where's the... Hello, here it is, metallic grape, right here. There we go. Okay, here we go. Ready? And I'm going to use the finger technique again. We'll let the camera focus. Whoa, that was came out darker. I had more oomph in the finger at that one. Boy, that's fast to color in, isn't it? That's kind of cool. That's kind of pretty. You know, let me back up a little bit so you can see. That's very pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so this this coloring after the fact. Um, with the one finger technique seems to be successful. Let's, let's try that again. Okay, I cut up another um, fly leaf or end paper. <laughs> just, just saying. <laughs> and, okay, so let us take that color concept, which I thought came out pretty cool. You know, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I wonder if you can do it with ink. Huh, let's try. Okay. Uh, you know, you could probably put the ink down first and then squiggle on it, but let's let's try this technique first. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get the ink on there. We'll figure it out. Okay, come in. Don't be shy. Oh, I'm back you up, and then I'll zoom you in. It likes you better this way. I mean, it likes you. We all like you. <laughs> but it just seems to focus better this way. Okay, here we go. Um, we'll just ramble. Don't think about it. All right, okay. Not thinking, just different directions. Very fluffy, very loose, very... Yeah, and we'll put another one down here. I should have used the fatter one. Okay, you're going off to the side. I can see it. Okay. We'll put another one down here. Yes, there's a flowery thing. It's going off to the side. Okay, there we go. If you try and bring any missing tail end. Well, yeah, you couldn't see any of that. Any tail end pieces together like I finished out over here. But attach it back to your squiggle. I think, I think that is the important thing here to remember. Yes, the squiggles must be reattached. To it, you know wayward squiggles. No, we must have attachment. Now, okay, here's my theory. 
I think I need a clean finger. So I'm going to, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm going to use finger number three. How about that? Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. This is the Distress Oxide in Kitsch Flamingo test. Here we go. Let me take you closer. All right. Okay. Okay, well, it, it kind of stays where it is. Now, you probably spritz it with water and all that stuff, but it, it doesn't feel as good as the other one. The other one wanted to move around. The other one is a wax base, and this is more of a, a dry, pigmenty, chalk sort of. Not bad, though. It gave a nice pink little flower. I mean, it definitely will work. So if you don't have gelatos, try your little, um, do this with your, your, your third finger. Is a thumb a finger? I'm never sure. I think we have four fingers and a thumb, right? right? Or do we have five fingers? Who, who knows? Hands up. Sally, in the back, what do you got to say? <laughs> okay. Ready? Sally, you know I adore you. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Yeah, there. All right. And now we're just going to actually show you what I'm doing. Um, and this time, I think I'm going to give it a wave. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know why. They just have uh, wavy ones. You see that? Wavy ones. Very pretty with the color, huh? I like that a lot. All right, maybe we're going to uh, give you some wild little leaves. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Don't think scribble. That's the whole thing. Don't think. Just scribble. Okay. Uh, there we go. It does have a sort of an artsy-fartsy sort of feel to it. It definitely does. Um... Now, if we had a green, we could do a nice little leaf. Do I have any clean fingers? I'm trying not to use the middle one. <laughs> Don't want to offend anybody. Oh, God, no. Um, okay, you know, this is, this requires a baby wipe. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I know, I know. Peeled paint, distress ink. Okay, so this is not oxide. This is just regular. Let's see what happens when I try and color the leaves. Is this wet enough? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay, go ahead like this. Yeah. I got a little in there. I just want a little smudge. That's all I'm asking for in life is a little smudge. Yeah, closer. Okay, ready? And smudge. Oh, yeah, works. And smudge. Oh, yeah. See, you don't even have to stay in the lines. That's a great thing about this sort of impressionistic drawing coloring thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't have to be in the lines. It can just be around. Yeah, it really, it really can. It just kind of looks cool. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's just simple pleasures with paper today. Just goofing around. In no man's land, I have no idea. Um, you know, what, what, I don't know, do you think this is crazy? Do you think it's fun? Do you think it's possible for you? Do you think it's easy? Do you think it's hard? Um, I would love to hear, and I would love to hear how you level up these ideas. So I'm going to show you what we made very quickly. Remember our, our like our Heather, our lavender style one. Here's big carnations. Here's the, here's the horizontal landscape one. Here's colored purple. Oh, I'd like that one very much. You're a big winner. And here's just black. I mean, black, black and cream or black and white, you can use on anything. And I just bordered this one in some pink and black ink. That's what I did there. Um, so yeah, so there you go. And here's just like, this is an oddball experimentation, but you know, we were going places and we were thinking things. It's kind of funny looking, but we got to, you never know till you try. So there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. And um, so if you have some pens and pencils and markers that you haven't played with for a long time, maybe this is your day. Maybe this is your day. Okay. Take care, everyone. Um, hey, if you haven't signed up for my free monthly emailed newsletter, make sure you do because you get a free digital image emailed to you every month. You get a checklist of supplies, which is about eight pages long. You get a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it in um, a PDF and Word format. And you also get a page list of ideas um, that you can put in your junk journal if you are stuck. And I also have a playlist um, showing uh, like never 
I called it something weird like never endless page ideas for junk journals and it'll show you four different ways you can use the one concept in your junk journals um, uh, so you can have a lot of fun on all those junk journal pages um, what else what else um, oh yeah, hey, I have uh, videos. They come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. I, I have a podcast, which comes out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I have an Etsy shop where I have my digi kits, which are uh, computer files that you um, purchase, download, and uh, save. And then um, you can use them as many times as you want. If you forget where you put them on your computer or your phone, you can always go back in your Etsy account. They're saved for you there eternally, and you can download them and save them again as many times as you want. And also, they're all themed to different um, um, uh, themes like birds or Victorian or celestial. Um, there's over 166 um, kits right now, and um, there you go. Uh, I also, I yeah, um, I do uh, something. I started to make a signature digi kits, signature page digi kits, and signature pages are just the individual pages in any junk journal, um, your your normal book pages. So just just remove the word signature, and these are these are signature pages. Yeah, those are your pages. So sometimes you'll want to have something that's a little bit pre decorated, or maybe you want something that has a background already, something that's lighter that you can write on and journal on, and um, something that. Um, uh, maybe you want to use for collage or something like that at another time. So lots of ideas with those and they are in there too. I think I've got maybe six now I want to say, six kits of those. And um, I also sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting paper, like old antique ledger and uh, postcards and checks and receipts and uh, um, old music pages and old dictionary and foreign language and, and uh, nature and a whole host of other categories. A um, hundred plus pages, hand dyed papers, vintage book pages, you name it, it's in there and I said I will ship it off to you and that uh, um, has free priority shipping included with that. And um, if you do like the concept of DigiKits but cannot, um, you, you don't like to print or it's um, too expensive to print or you haven't quite figured out how to get the wireless thingy to work with your printer and all that kind of thing, uh, I will print them out for you. I do them in batches of 10 kits at a time. So if you order, I need the name of 10 digi kits that you would like for a flat fee. And then I will print those out on lightweight cardstock and mail those off to you. Um, you do not need to purchase the individual digi kits, those print and mail digi kits. Um, uh, you just give me the list either to uh, in Etsy message or to my email. Just send me the list to pam at thepaperoutpost.com and uh, then I will go ahead and print those off and mail those to you. And I also have an Amazon shop. So if you are looking for these kinds of pens or something like that or the jobbers or the inks, things that you see me use like as a tool or a supply, I try and put the links in my uh, Amazon shop. So if you're looking for the stuff, you can find it. It is uh, an affiliate. Uh, I'm an affiliate for Amazon. You do not pay more for the um, objects because you buy them through my links. Uh, but I do earn a small commission if you purchase through there. So thank you very much for helping uh, support my shop. And also, um, I have a merchandise shop. So if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon and you're looking for a, a nice present or a gift for yourself or for a loved one, uh, I got you covered. You can put that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zipped hoodie, a tote or a mug. And what else? Um, if you're looking for me on social media, you will find me on uh, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly, monthly challenges. All the links are down below. And snuffer pants, do you have something to say? Yes, mom. I, I might have something to say. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's see what it is, bumble pants. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm coming. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm swooping in. I'm swooping. Here I come. Swoop. Hello, everybody. Yes. Okay. Mom, get me oriented. It's half asleep sunshine. Yeah. Okay. So here's the real, this is the down low. There were a lot of bangs, a lot of, a lot of noise last night. That's all I can say. There's a lot of noise in the sky. And I was a little concerned, yeah, I was. And um, I had to bark a lot. I had to let mom know that there was noises outside. I let her know a lot. I think she was ignoring me most of the time. But then she tried to, um, she put music on and I fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what happened. And you know what, I think mom fell asleep too. 
Yeah, yeah, I think that's what happened. Um, then we woke up and it was morning. <laughs> okay, thank you. Love you guys. Happy crafting. Bye. <laughs> you like all asleep. What's going on? What's going on? You're all asleep. I am. I'm all asleep. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. What was that? Was act two? That was act two coming up there. Okay, so folks, there you have it. Remember that fun can be simple. Create with uh, reckless abandon and just use whatever you have. All right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.